Hey, this is Professor Dan Kernler with another video for Math 120 online at Elgin Community College. This is just going to be a short overview of our course page in D2L, Desire to Learn, uh, which is the course management system we use at ECC. So um, I guess I should go, I've got the course homepage here, but I should do a quick video to show you how to get here in case you don't know. So if we go to elgin.edu, and over on the right, there's a login to D2L, and you use your same username and password that you logged in to register, um, or to use your student email, all that's the same. And then when you go into our course, it looks something like this. So we're just gonna do a quick overview of the main components. You'll see on the home page there, there's a, a top menu here that should be the same for all of your courses. I've done some slight modifications on the lower menu, and then I also added this kind of home links here with some of the main parts because I just like to be fancy. Um, you'll notice that it's an occupational hazard. But <laughs> there are some widgets here off to the side. So all the content that we'll have, it's going to be in a few places. I like to kind of have things in multiple places. But handouts that you might have if you were in my face-to-face -face class, exam review, information about the project. There's this little folder over on the right. So like if we go under module one, chapters one through three, this might change by the time you actually get here. But right now, there are some slides from the chapter one PowerPoint. I'll have a video to accompany that. There's a file that has review materials for exam one, a practice exam from exam one. And so every module is gonna have similar stuff to that. Um, the project has the description uh, for each one and there should be an example there at the end. So that's the uh, content, uh, what's that thing? Content browser, I think was what they call that in D2L. Also off to the right is a Google Calendar. If you're interested, you can subscribe to this Google Calendar and even set it up to um, have reminders that automatically pop up or email you when stuff is due. So this is uh, all the upcoming deadlines here, when the homework is, when the exams are, that's all here in this Google Calendar, calendar that you can subscribe to. Uh, you can click on this link here to, to see how to do that, it's pretty easy. Um, on the bottom right there's some help links, there's uh, mostly tech help here. So within D2L there are some links. Um, My Stat Lab, which is the homework system we'll use, we'll have a separate video for that. A uh, couple of good numbers to know here, or there's a chat that you can do that students have had some success with, with technical issues there. Um, so that's not questions about the homework. This is, you know, the, the it's not displaying the way I want, or it's not accepting my answer. Uh, if you have a homework question, you can send that to me. Uh, and then news posts I will have here on the home page about upcoming deadlines or changes or things like that. One thing you should do right away is subscribe to news posts. So if you go onto the top right by your name and click notifications, what you want to do is send up some notifications here. You can have your mobile number, number if you want. And then at the very least, you want to check the boxes that have news items updated or available. So you want to update those. That way you'll get a text or an email anytime I post a news item there. Um, you'll notice I have the discussion post because if a student makes a discussion post, uh, I want to get an email about that so I know to respond right away. You might also subscribe to grade items. That way you know when grades are updated. Okay, so let's go through here. The schedule here, this is a link to the Google, Google Calendar again. Uh, the course documents is the same as the content browser over here. It's just a little more detailed. So this is broken down. It has a list of all of the course content. Uh, the lessons is a separate website that I have made. And we'll see it in a couple of locations this semester. You may want to bookmark it. Um, but it's a website. It's mobile friendly, so you can look at it on your phone. Uh, it's got images and links of examples. Uh, I like to have some that, okay, why don't you try this one? And you can click to reveal the answer to see how to do it. Um, I feel like it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, I just found out, this is crazy, I just found out last semester I was doing some research um, and I actually have a tracker here for how many people visit this. Apparently there's like a thousand people visiting this every day, which is mind boggling. But I don't think it's that, <laughs> it's that crazy. But anyway, these are the examples. So when I refer to the online lesson, these lessons, that's really what I'm referring to. That's your, your textbook, kind of. There is a textbook that we can follow, but this is one that I have made all of these examples. 
So test questions will look like the examples that are in here. Uh, so this is something definitely to kind of bookmark and follow along. Most students use this and the YouTube videos that I have for each section as kind of their learning uh, for the course. Next is a link to my stat lab. I'll have a separate video for that. That's the homework system. Stat crunch, we'll have another video for that. Actually, probably a few for that kind of learning how to do that. That's the tool we're going to use for all of our statistical analysis. So it's 2016 now. We shouldn't be using calculators anymore. Um, Excel is not a great statistical analysis tool. So this is a web-based tool, super easy to use, a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get rolling, you know, the first couple of assignments, it'll be a little bit of a slog to figure out how to enter data and do things like that. But then once you get rolling, pretty easy. Uh, the discussion actually goes along with the Dropbox. The main purpose you're going to be using those is for um, your project. So if we click on the Dropbox, there are two parts to the Dropbox. One is every exam you'll have some stuff that you'll need to upload electronically along with the written exam that you'll fill out. And then projects, you're going to have a Word document that you'll submit for each project. And along with that, we'll go to the discussion board, um, you're going to post here as well. And the idea is that we want to have some interaction. So you'll post your dis your project uh, and then um, your classmates will read it and you have to reply to a couple of your classmates at least. Most people do, you know, three or four comments. Um, show that you read it, make a couple of, of insightful notes there, how that relates to some other content. Uh, whatever you feel is appropriate there. I'll give you some guidelines as well when we get closer. Um, but that's all within uh, the discussion board. There also are some more general ones here. Um, it's interesting, I have this section in the discussion board for my um, class that, that meets face to face as well. And nobody uses it because they just ask me during class, but you don't have class time if you're taking this online. So if you have a homework question, you can post it here. One of your classmates might respond. Um, but this way, if it's here, uh, more people can see it rather than just an email to me, then you're the only one who really is going to see that. So that's the discussion board. Back to the main home screen here. <coughs> Grades are, <coughs> excuse me. Grades are updated every week or so. Uh, if you click on that, whoops, well, that's not going to work here because I am an instructor. So that, I'm glad I didn't click on that. That would have shown everybody's name. Um, the quizzes, let me see if I can pretend I'm a student. The, there are actually just four quizzes here, and they're just optional quizzes that are extra credit for exams. They, they go in the homework category, uh, but they can give you an extra 1% bonus in that homework category. And they're just some more theoretical questions about the exam uh, when we get closer to those. So we'll talk more about those. And I think that is it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them below uh, or send me an email and hopefully we can get you up and running as soon as possible uh, in the course.